Henry Chadwick created and reported on the runs per game statistic. That's not a prominent statistic that people care about today, but Henry Chadwick certainly cared about runs per game, runs per game. So runs per game was something Chadwick reported and talked about. If Henry Chadwick today had the SQL sandbox, he'd be amazed, just like Darwin or Aristotle today would be amazed at the amount of biological knowledge we have. Let's play Henry Chadwick. Well, how do we get the data for runs per game? We've got to modify our query in the SQL sandbox here. So instead of asking for all fields or columns in the select statement, we're going to ask for some specific ones. And in this case, we're going to look at player ID, year ID, team ID, games, and runs. We're going to add one more thing. Because we're playing Chadwick, we're going to want to calculate runs per game. And the way we do that is add another element, another element to our query, which is a simple formula. We're going to say runs, runs divided by games. We ha and we're going to create a new column in our output table. And it's going to be calculated as runs, as runs here, runs divided by games. We're going to label that column by using this as modifier as RPG. We're going to take it from the batting table and let's just do this, keep the same where clause and see what happens. Run this query, see what happens. It's a SQL sandbox we play. All right, we got to check. Now the output looks very different again. Let's check. We got the 46 rows that we received in the previous little video segment. We're only showing 30. Now the, the output table has player ID, year ID, team ID, games, runs, and runs per game. Now let's scroll up again. That's exactly what we identified. Instead of using all columns and fields, we now get the output table with just the ones we want. But we've calculated this new column runs per game. So scrolling through these 30 results, we have diff different numbers for runs per game. And let's just sort of look and see what's... Oh, Robbie Cano has a pretty high runs per game. Francisco Cervelli has even an, a higher runs per game. Brent Gardner is pretty high. Curtis Granderson. So we can sort of scan this list and see which player has the highest runs per game. And that's useful data to Henry Chadwick, data he'd be interested in. So remember, we created this SQL Sandbox and put a lot of time thinking about the design of the SQL Sandbox for new learners of the SQL language. To allow them to play and experiment with real baseball data, to have it be a place where their curiosity could just run wild. Students can start asking questions. Learners can think about different ways to query the data. And we've created the sandbox for you to do that. So now start thinking like your data scientist, your data analyst. And maybe what you want to do is use all tools at your disposal. So sometimes you might need to download the four results and maybe that you some of the answers to the questions you have are easily answered in a spreadsheet as opposed to SQL. So maybe you, a strategy would be to do a query, run a query, of get the data you want, download the results into a CSV file, load them up to your spreadsheet and start analyzing the results. So the exercise for the student at the end of this little video segment, before you go on to your assessment, is to choose your favorite team or maybe choose your birth year 
and just run a query like this one here, play Henry Chadwick, and see which players had the highest runs per game for your birth year or for your favorite team or for whatever combination of the where clause you want to run here. Play and just explore the data and have fun.